Good day to you. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? Those bandits I found in the woods were talking about him. They mentioned him by name? Well, they said Ginger. That is suspicious. But it could be a coincidence. He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well, he was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him, Henry. Go, before the trail turns cold. I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. I'll be with you. Has anyone here seen Ginger? That boy from the stud farm? Yes, that's the one. Is he around? No, he's not here. But he passed through not long ago on the way to Kalmburg. Follow the stream to the west and you'll find more charcoal burners there. Good luck to you. Yeah! Respects to you. Where's Ginger? I must speak with him. Who? There's no one of that name here. Then where did he go? Everyone told me I'd find him here. But he... I don't know anything at all about it. Farewell. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhoff. Was he here by any chance? Ginger, you say? Would he be a red-haired fellow? Yes, have you seen him? L let me see now. Um, there was a stranger around here. He didn't have red hair, though, so it wouldn't be him. Really? Because your neighbours told me they know Ginger and that he comes to visit you. You can't believe everything you hear. They probably just wanted to get rid of you. I've no reason not to believe them. I'm investigating the massacre at Neuhoff, and that boy knows something about it. I have to talk to him, damn it. All right. But first you have to prove you're on the right side. How? There has been two armed men wandering around asking about Ginger. Cutthroats by the look of them. Get rid of them, and we'll let you see Ginger. Then you can take me there now, because I've already dealt with those bandits. If you don't believe me, I can take you to their bodies. All right. Take your word for it. Ginger's hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go north along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a spring. There's an overgrown path from there that'll lead you to where Ginger is. It's easy to miss it. Thank you. Yeah. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Be because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, 
they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognize? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light. But it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. It was terrible. Like hell itself. And then... It seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No. No. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? It's all over with them. You've uh, nothing more to fear. Really? God bless you. But there's just one thing. What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Just try, and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your help, and God bless you. Yeah! 